Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on filter design. In fact, for this few series discussion, I will be basically focused on low pass filter on microstrip line. Okay, this is actually a request from you guys. As promised, okay, I will discuss how can we actually implement a low pass filter on microstrip line. Okay, before we can embark on the discussion, how can we actually design the low pass filter on microstrip line? We need to know what is Richard's transformation. In short, Richard transformation allow us to transform lump elements such as capacitor and inductor into distribute element such as transmission line. Okay, so therefore, in short, okay, if we can design the filter using the lump element, after that, we can actually implement Richard transformation to transform the lump element into transmission line. And basically, our job done because transmission line is simply a microstrip line. This will be the part 15 discussion on filter design. I have put the playlist for the filter design under the description. So please take a look on those videos if you're keen to know more about filter design. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, feel free to give me some comment. For example, like what I have mentioned early on, this video, okay, low pass filter on microstrip line is actually a request. Okay, you can also send in your request by, comment, by commenting on the videos. Okay, once again, thank you so much for your strong support. Okay, let's understand okay, why we don't want to implement lump element on high or microwave frequency. Okay, the lump element, inductor and capacitor, typically they work very well at low frequency. However, at high or microwave frequency, okay, they can be very difficult to implement. Okay, I'm not sure whether you still remember what we have discussed on self-resonant frequency for component like inductor and capacitor. For example, when frequency exceeds the self-resonant frequency, the capacitor will become an inductor and the inductor will become a capacitor. And because of this, okay, it is always very challenging to implement lump element at high or microwave frequency. Next, lump elements are also available only for a limited range of value. Okay, so what does this mean? For example, capacitor, Okay, it is not possible to available like 1 picofarad, 2 picofarad, 3 picofarad, 4 picofarad, 5 picofarad, correct? So you know that they basically only available at certain range and hence because of this, okay, we may be having some issue to design okay, the filter to really operate at the desired center frequency, for example, for a band pass filter, okay, because we have some tolerance over here. And because of this, Therefore, we actually prefer a distribute element rather than lump element. In addition, at high or microwave frequency, okay, the distance gap between filter component cannot be neglected. Remember, high or microwave frequency, the wavelength actually reduce. Once the wavelength reduces, any small distance, any small gap, okay, they cannot be neglected. They need to be carefully considered. Hence, because of all this, it is always good to design the filter on a PCB. Okay, on a PCB means microstrip line. Okay, we need to know these two process before even we can kick start the design of low bus filter or microstrip line. We need to know what is Richard transformation. So as I what I mentioned earlier on, this will be the concentration for this video. The next video, okay, I will discuss on this. Kuroda identity. Okay, so I will discuss this on the next video. Richard's transformation can be used to convert lump element, inductor, and capacitor to distribute element transmission line using open circuit or short circuit transmission line stuff. Okay, over here you can see over here, for example, this is a lump element. Okay, basically it's an inductor. 
over here you can see that they are able to transform into transmission line with a short circuit at the other end. Okay, so over here again, you can see that this is a lump element of capacitor. Okay, basically they can be transformed into transmission line with an open circuit on the other end. Okay, so these are all the equation. Okay, so nevertheless, don't worry about this. On the next few slides, I will discuss how can we actually prove all this. Okay, so at this moment, don't worry so much. But what you need to remember is lump element inductor can be implemented by a short circuit. Lump element capacitor can be implemented by transmission line with an open circuit. And these are all the equations, which again, I will discuss later on. Richard transformation focus on the use of lambda over eight lines. Okay, so the transmission line, okay, basically they have the length of lambda over eight. Richard idea is to use variable Z zero to create lump element from transmission line. Okay, so the transmission line, why is lambda over eight? Okay, I remember that I need to do Laplace transform in order to prove this. Okay, frankly, I am not able to recall how to do this Laplace transformation. I probably will do this later on if there is a need. Okay, but over here, what we need to know that if we implement Richard transformation, we just need to take this consideration that the length need to be lambda over eight. As I share with you, okay, this all this can be proved by using Laplace transformation. But at this moment. Okay, probably it's a little bit difficult for me to recall how to use Laplace transformation to prove this. But as what I mentioned, okay, I will prove all this. Okay, maybe the length, okay, I will use another video to prove it to you why the length of the transmission line need to be lambda over A. A lump low pass prototype filter can be implemented using lambda over eight line of appropriate Z0 to replace lump L and C element. So over here, okay, you can see that by controlling okay, the Z naught, okay, we actually can control the value of L and also the value of C by the use of the equation. As I mentioned, okay, we will see all this on the next few slides. Okay, so let's take a quick look and understand what is Richard transformation. Okay, for example, this is a transmission line. Okay, this can be governed by this ABC metric. Okay, so this ABCD matrix will be used to so-called categorize the transmission line. Okay, when we actually put this set L, okay, terminate at the load, okay, therefore the input impedance can be governed by this equation. Okay, in the interest of time, I probably cannot prove it to you. Okay, but later on, if time permit, okay, uh, the next few discussion I will use to discuss okay, why the input impedance is governed by this equation. But at this moment, if this is a transmission line, and if we add this load and terminate at the transmission line, the Z in, okay, which means that the input characteristics basically is governed by this equation. Okay, so let's focus on short circuit first. Okay, so this is exactly what I have done on the previous slide. So basically now it become a short circuit. So when once it become a short circuit, which means that this is actually a short circuit, which tells me that ZL is equal to zero or close to zero. Once it's close to zero, then it will become a short circuit if you still remember. So therefore I just take ZL to be zero and then put this zero here and put this zero here. Over here you can see that basically this will be removed. This will be removed. So Z0 and Z0, I can cancel. So what I left is J Z0 tangent beta length, which is shown over here. So this is what happened okay, when I actually want to make this as a short circuit and it's governed by this equation. Next. Okay, examine another case, okay, which means that on the other side, it will be an open circuit. Again, this is exactly the same that I have. This time round, okay, ZL need to be open circuit. Okay, once it open circuit it means that this ZL is close to infinity. Okay, let's use infinity in order to understand the open circuit characteristics. Okay, so again, this is a formula. Okay, again, ZL all become infinity. 
So what I need to form this equation is simply divide all the term all by infinity. So this infinity divided by infinity become one. Okay, any number that divide by infinity, it become a zero or close to zero. Again, this divided by infinity is close to zero. Okay, over here I can cancel infinity, infinity, and therefore I have this J tangent beta length. Okay, so over here you can see that I actually can rearrange the formula okay, as 1 over j, which is minus j. I have this z naught, and this will become a cotangent beta length. Okay, so isn't this exactly what I have showed it to you earlier on? So once it becomes a short circuit, okay, it's governed by this equation, okay, j z naught tangent beta length, which is shown over here. Short circuit, okay, which is shown over here. So once it's an open circuit, okay, it actually governed by this equation, z in equals to minus j z naught cotangent beta length, which is shown over here. So therefore, over here, I have successfully proved to you that when the lump element is an inductor, okay, inductor simply just like a conductor material or the cable or wire, simply they have a short circuit characteristics which can be easily implemented with a transmission line, lambda over 8, with a short circuit at the other end, and governed by this equation. So therefore, I can actually control my z naught in order to achieve my L value. As for C, okay, again, earlier on, I have mentioned that capacitors simply like a two plates. They are separate by air, and therefore they are somehow like an open circuit and actually is governed by this equation, which I have proven to you. Okay, so next, last slides before I go off. Okay, the frequency mapping due to Richard transformation. Okay, so earlier on, if this is fulfilled by a lump element, okay, so it has a low pass filter response. However, if you transform them into distribute element, okay, they can become a periodic. So this is what it means. So once you use the Richard transformation, they become a periodic in nature. So it has the practical effect of producing filter with transfer function that are periodic in the frequency domain. So one thing I want to highlight, if you use this Richard transformation, your low pass filter become a periodic in the frequency domain. Okay, with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please start to like and subscribe. As what I have mentioned earlier on, okay, so this will be the first series discussion on the filter design on microstrip line. So next one, I will discuss another function, which is the Kuroda identity. After that, then I will further discuss how can we actually design a low pass filter using transmission line. Once again, sincere thanks for a strong support. See you guys. Bye.